It all began here in this village, with only 30 women. But when news spread, letters arrived from many villages saying the women of our village live in great hardship. Please help us. Gradually, Chanda's network has grown to more than a hundred villages across many hundreds of kilometers. Her organization, called Shrujan, meaning creativity, has benefited over 22,000 women. When Chanda comes, it's like the arrival of a beacon of light. The income generated by the sales of the work enables the women to pay for health care and improve their family's nutrition. Parmaban was one of the first ladies to join Chanda's project. You should become a designer yourself. After 30 years, she's still keen to improve and develop her craft. Chanda also encourages the women to develop the tradition by introducing new colors and ideas. At first, the women thought this was easy work for a quick profit and quality did not matter. I soon put a stop to that attitude. Then they understood that quality work would achieve a high status and a high price. Because of the remoteness of each community, it was impossible for the women to compare pieces and inspire each other to greater things. If Chanda wanted to open up new markets for their needlework, she needed to find a way of introducing an element of competition to spur the ladies on. Kutch is one of the harshest environments in India. Chanda Shroff is encouraging local women to produce exquisite pieces of embroidery. By creating a market for their work, she has given the women an ability to support themselves. In her base in Butch, Chanda has over 1,200 display panels of the best needlework from the region. Occasionally, a selected few are taken out of the collection for a special mission. Some women live in remote villages and never leave them. So if they cannot come to us, we visit them. We bring our collection of masterpieces to inspire them and awaken their creativity. Once, each community believed only they could create real beauty. But when they saw what other communities had done, they were astonished that others could do better than them. So they asked me to teach them how to do it themselves. The Rolex Award will help Chanda to reveal the stories of the craftswomen and their techniques to the wider world, ensuring that the art and tradition of this wonderful work will live on. For 37 years, what I have observed is the blossoming of these women's dignity and self-confidence. They learned that they could earn their own living.
Our aim is to involve even more villages, so these skills can be passed on to future generations. We have seen how these five special individuals are the vital creative force in their inspiring projects. They have displayed a unique spirit of enterprise that has helped to change the world and make it a better place. They have realized their dreams through determination and tireless energy. These new laureates now join a special group of people who have been honored over the last 30 years by the Rolex Awards for Enterprise.